At first glance, the wetlands are nothing more than a wasteland. But look hard enough, and you'll find that it is a host for a large abundance of life. For example, if you take notice to tiny holes dotting the lake shore, you may be in for an experience that you will never forget. So we were walking along this beach and I noticed all these tiny little holes and I was wondering what lived in them when I realized there's a bunch of sand crabs here. When I saw my first one, I thought it was a sand crab. My plan was to catch one, but that claw was definitely menacing. Oh my gosh. I think these are fiddler crabs. I think we had the jackpot. I just came down here to look at this view, and there's probably hundreds of them down in these holes here. And I think we just found a bunch of fiddler crabs. Anyway, so these crabs are bigger than their own holes, but they manage to fit into their own holes despite their hard exoskeleton. So that's pretty amazing for a crab to do. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before. me right now, but with no effect. So this is pretty cool. He's not really doing anything. I can feel his legs. Well, this is his pincher. Well, he caught a crab. And let's let this guy go. Alright, let's put him down here, and let's watch him scurry away. Alright, we're gonna set him down right here, and let's leave him there. Hope that he gets home safely. Now it was time to turn it up another notch, or in this case, a few more notches, by catching that fiddler crab. I got a fiddler crab! actually where he gets his name. Now it looks like he's holding a fiddle with that huge claw. Let's head down here where we can get a better shot of Alright, so we caught this little guy and right here he, you can see he has this giant claw and I was actually a little worried about that giant claw because I didn't know if he was going to use it and if he did, how much it was going to hurt. But we actually caught him. This is actually pretty cool. I never thought I would be able to pull this off. I actually never thought that I would be able to find a fiddler crab. Uh, so right now he's actually using his little claws. I can feel them kind of digging into me. So that's it. Let's let him go. back out in his natural environment and um, so well that pretty much ends it we found these red rock crab we found fiddler crab we caught both species i'm moose phillips there always be a new frontier on nature's frontier it's an experience i don't think i'll forget if you ever find these little critters on your own i encourage you to pick them up study them maybe find something new about them If you thought that was One Wild Frontier, don't forget, subscribe so you can follow me on my next wild adventure.